Is Animal Crossing Pocket Camp any good? A lot of you guys say that I should check out Animal Crossing Pocket Camp even though I've only played it just to get the exclusive items in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I haven't really played beyond that. So I figured I would restart because it's been like two years since I've touched it and see what it's all about. But here's the thing, I'm not super into the gacha game concept at all. Also, I don't really play any mobile games. But I wanna know, will Animal Crossing Pocket Camp win me over. I am so determined to find out if this game is like actually good. I'm typically not really into gacha games at all. It's not really my style. I just have a hard time getting into them because I don't think I have a gambling addiction. <laughs> like I hate spending money, but I will spend money today if I need to. Just to prove a point. Hey there, welcome to Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Would it be cool if I asked you a question right off the bat? Sure. Let's say you're on vacation starting tomorrow. What would you do? The world is yours. I'd like to explore nature. I'd like to go far, far away. I'd just chill. I don't know. I'd probably just chill and do as little of things as possible. You and me both, my friend. Sometimes I wonder if I should have been a fisherman. Okay. I mean, I guess those guys do a lot of chilling. Well, I think you're headed in the right direction. Enjoy the peace and quiet and go at your own pace. Uh, right on, it's been good talking to you. Maybe our paths will cross again someday. <gasps> Cute. I love it. All right. I'm going to choose my character. Oh, I love this villager style, by the way. I miss it so much. They have lots of cute hairs here. Oh my goodness. I'll probably stick with the first hair because I don't know. I just get nostalgic for it. Could I change the hair color? There we go. Look at my little guy that I created. I'm going to keep it. I love that old villager style. It makes me very nostalgic. Our villagers are too cute now. <laughs> Whatever happened to the good old days where we were all just little blocks? Okay, sick. We got Isabel here. Hey. Hey girl, what's up? Welcome, you must be the new camp manager I've been waiting for. It. It's great to meet you. I love that I'm immediately promoted to the manager. I love having my skill set recognized. No need to be modest. I've heard great things about you. Now I have you all registered and everything, but I'm not quite sure how to pronounce your name. Lissy. Yeah, yeah. All right, did I hear that right? You go by Lissy? That's me. I just need a tiny bit more time to make the place perfect for you and your guests. A bit of information too. How would you describe your ideal campsite in one word? Natural, cute, sporty, cool. Mm. I guess I would go with cute because I'm very cute. Got it. Ooh, I can't wait to show off the place when it's all ready. Um, would you be able to help me out a teensy bit? I'd like to get you all set up with brand new furniture, but I'm a little short on craft materials. Drive your camper over to Breezy Hollow. Did she just think I know where that is? Trading craft materials around is kind of how we do things out here in the country, you'll see. Out in the country. Oh, cool. So I could just... I can just tap and then I'll I'll be on my way. And then I'm driving a vehicle. Okay, uh, cute, Rosie's here. Oh, she's a mega cutie. Whoa, whoa, hold the phone. Do I know you? You look kind of familiar, but I don't know why. Huh, weird, right? Anyways, my name's Rosie, what should I call you? Maybe she recognizes me because I'm like, one of the only humans. <laughs> Lissy, oh my gosh, I've like always wanted a friend with that name, silly. It's almost as if fate stepped in to make sure we'd cross paths while braving the great outdoors. And now we're friends. What brings you to this neck of the woods? I know I'm here to stock up on some delicious fresh fruit. Uh, need a hand with that? I totally would help. Bring me an apple. Okay, girl, I don't know where that is yet. <gasps> Ooh, apple, found it. <gasps> This is just like Animal Crossing. Okay, cool. I love it. I'm gonna hoard all the other fruits too. Why not? They're free. I like free stuff. Thanks, uh, Bajillion. Have you heard of juicing? <laughs> It's totally the juiciest thing to hit the health world, which means I have to try it like yesterday. Want to juice with me? Of course I want to juice with you. Oh my goodness. What are we making? Apple smoothie? What a refreshing way to get vitamins. I can, I call dibs on the next batch. Oh, cool. I love it. So I got bells and cotton. I'm not really sure what uh, to do with that information yet. FYI, the cotton I gave you can be used to make furniture. Just talk to Cyrus and he'll guide you through the whole process. I have some furniture items now, so I guess I should head back to my campsite. Okay, bye. I love all these fun facts. Um, I didn't have time to read any of them. Wow, is that my campsite? Lissy, welcome back. I hope this has been worth the wait. Everything is almost ready for you to start camping. I should point out that all of this lovely furniture is from Cyrus and Reeves. They're the owners and operators of Retail on the Road, a mobile craft workshop unlike any other. Nice to meet you. Oh, look at that. You've already got your hand on some craft materials. Oh, sick. Okay, so I get to go through the craft catalog and then choose what I want to make. 
and most definitely it's gonna be this lovely love seat. Craft it. Good eye, I'll get right on it. Of course, if you're feeling antsy, you can always speed things up with leaf tickets. That's where they get ya. Here, I actually have a few extra leaf tickets right now. I'll show you how it works. Okay, what? If it's gonna take a minute, why am I spending leaf tickets on it? No, I wanna save my leaf ticket, but I guess I have to. Wow. Okay, so I have a lovely love seat now. I'm so excited to figure out how much leaf tickets actually cost converted to US dollars. Lovely love seat, it turned out wonderfully. Be sure and let us know if you wanna craft anything else, Lissy, we're ready. In fact, we're just a few taps away on your phone. That's cool. So we do have cell phones in universe. Oh. oh, cool. Okay, decorating the space. Tap, place item. I'm sure I can figure this out because it's gonna show me. Design, place item, boom. Got my lovely live seat. Oh, that's great, yeah. Save. The only thing left to do is start inviting more people to come enjoy the place. I know someone who will love the way you've got things set up. Who? Who are you talking about? <gasps> My best friend! Call. Oh, just kidding. Invite. <laughs> wow. <gasps> She's sleeping on my bed? <laughs> Okay, all right, that's a little much, you know. As I expected, your campsite didn't disappoint, Lissy. I wish I knew your secret. My secret is that Isabel set everything up for me. Now Rosie can come visit my campsite anytime. Cool. It's so much fun getting everyone together like this, don't you think? I just love this place. Uh, me too. You know what, I'm starting to like it. I think the overall concept of the game is very interesting. I wanna know how much those damn leaf tickets cost. Oh, I almost forgot I have one more surprise for you. It's a small camp warming gift. Leaf tickets? No, just money. Money, money, honey, actual honey, wood, cotton, and oh, I can fish in this game. Maybe. New animals have been added to your contacts list. Make more items if I wanted to, and I can go new places. Damn, you know, they really did put a lot of work into this game. Oh, uh, I have to update my game now. Oh, this is cute. I'm doing an update, and it's got a little game attached, and I can get bells. It's kind of taken a long time to update, though. I don't know how much I could play this game. Please don't make me, Isabel. <laughs> I feel like I'm enjoying the mechanics so far, but I'm not really sure how much I'm gonna love the gotcha aspect of it. We're just gonna have to see. How legit is this? I'm skeptical. Also, what if I am the perfect candidate for a gambling addiction? I do have a very addictive personality and I really don't wanna get myself into a pickle. That's why I avoid these games. Oh God, oh geez. Let me figure out how much is a leaf ticket. Oh, login bonus. Oh, that's nice. It gives you incentive to like get on every day. <gasps> And I got three free lift, leaf tickets. Okay, Um. apparently let's go. I'm going somewhere. I don't even know. It just told me let's go. Fortune cookies. When you order and eat a fortune cookie, you'll find an item inside. Uh, how much money does this cost? Different types of fortune cookies offer different items. The fortune cookie shop in Marketplace stocks a large variety of fortune cookies. Now I'm familiar with this cart because you know, you have to play a little bit of pocket camp in order to get all these items in New Horizons, like the campsite sign, there's this little cart, there's little camper vans, etc, etc. So now I get to actually know, like, what is this thing? You'll find different types of fortune cookies in stock at different times, so be sure to shop often. Order some fortune cookies using bells, but others must be ordered using leaf tickets. A Kiki's Black Cat Cookie. How much is this? 50 leaf tickets? Okay, I'm gonna check right now. Okay, 1,000 leaf tickets here is $21.99. 180 is $4. 45 is $2. Now, why would you do the $2 one for 45 when you could do the $4 one for 180? $80 for 2,500 leaf tickets? <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I'm so curious, Pocket Camp players. How much money have you spent on this game? Be for real with me right freaking now. I feel like if you have spent $80 on leaf tickets, you should have grounds to sue Nintendo. That is predatory. And then it's a like random? Oh my god, we're loot crating in the freaking Pocket Camp? <laughs> it's random. You don't even know what you're gonna get. 250 in order to get that thing. Oh my god, this is a mess. And then of course, you can't just buy the right amount. <laughs>
This is horrible. All right, I am just gonna buy 100 leaf tickets. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe it, you guys. I never thought that I would be the one. That was like scary easy to buy these leaf tickets. Oh my God, watch out for your children. <laughs> they even calculate like what percent chance you have to get something. I wonder if that's like a legality thing. I don't know. Anyways, I'm eating this cat fortune cookie. You'll catch a cold, but you'll get over it in a single day. Fancy feline table. Okay, I'll get one more. I wanna see if I get the fancy feline table again then I'm never playing this game. I will seriously, I will I will never touch it again. You will become the greatest latte artist in your city. Wow. If I were an aspiring latte artist, this would mean so much to me. Okay, okay. Fancy feline display case. So they didn't screw me over. That's cool. All right. And my stamp card is being filled out. What is that? Stamp trade. When you use leaf tickets to buy fortune cookies, you'll rack up stamps on your stamp card. It takes 10 stamps to fill one card. You might have stamps saved up, so check your stamp cards periodically. Oh, you can trade in stamps for furniture. Oh my goodness, 10 full stamp cards in order to trade in some of this stuff? Jesus, this is insane. 10 full stamp cards and all you're doing is trading in for another cookie? So you don't even really get to pick the item that you get? Holy guacamole. Anyways, I also have bell um, cookies, which I can buy with bells, not leaf tickets, which I, you know, I like that there's at least that option. You'll grill the perfect burger, bur bur whoa, burger at the barbecue. And I got a King Tut mask. Ay. Tommy's fortune cookie, 500 dollars, not real dollars. You will find an incredible deal on a new pair of shoes. Uh, that is perfect for me. And I got a flagpole. Super cool. All right, now what? I get to just decorate my campsite. Well, it's not like I got like a bunch of stuff to decorate with. Talk to an animal at the campsite. That's a goal. <gasps> Rosie's here, so I could talk to her. Hello. Oh no. This might be like the best evening I've had in a while, Lissy. Need some help? Questing? Oh my gosh, I've just been jet setting all over the world and all that plane time has really dried me out. Loading up on water and vitamins helps in times like these, right? You have any fruit? <gasps> Good thing I was collecting fruit like crazy the other day, earlier today. That was 10 minutes ago. Awesome. And I got some rewards too for helping her out. I love it. Oh, and Isabel is the one that's giving me all of these goals. She's keeping me on the straight path here. I talked to an animal at the campsite. Oh, and I have stuff in my mailbox. I need to check that. I got 10 leaf tickets for becoming a campsite manager. Do they just give you leaf tickets like crazy though the more that you play the game? I have a feeling that that gravy train leaves the station real quick. Oh, and if I go claim an item from my mailbox, which I don't know where that is yet, if I do that, then I will get more leaf tickets. I want leaf tickets. Oh, my mailbox isn't a physical item. It's just an icon. Wow, look at all this cool stuff. Collect all. And I even completed goals by doing that. <gasps> Sick. I have 18 leaf tickets right now. 28 leaf tickets somehow. Gotta go catch a fish. How do I go there? What is going on? Why can't I go in there? Lloyd, you stumbled across my little garden plot a little earlier than I expected. Would you mind coming back when we've reached level three? I mean, I guess. I mean, that looks like it's an extension of my campsite. I'm not gonna lie. I decided to talk to Rosie again because it keeps popping up that she wants to talk to me, even though we were just chatting. Have you checked out Isabel's goals? I'm obsessed. <laughs> Ah, great tutorialing. I'm loving it. Okay, great. Now we're level three friends. I'll, we, I don't even know why. What happened? 30 leaf tickets? Just for talking to Rosie? That's all I had to do? <gasps> and now I have 68 leaf tickets. Let's go. Free trial for Pocket Camp Club. What is that? Paid monthly subscription service for Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Are you going to take my money if I forget to cancel? I'm not signing up for this because I'm going to forget to cancel. Like, this is ridiculous. I feel like everything I click on, it's like spend money. I clicked on the sticker book thing earlier. Earlier, and it was like buy sticker packs if you want to add more stickers to your book your fictional pixel book in your little phone screen it's like jesus okay i don't want to spend money every twist and turn shovel strike 
Corey. Help me find materials. Craft materials and bells are at stake. Um, get help from five friends. Okay, so if I get five friends, I get to go. Or if I use leaf tickets, I get to go. Use stinkers. How do I catch a fish at the beach or river? I guess I probably have to go to the beach. Saltwater shores, is that where I go? Well, we're gonna find out. There's a fish. <gasps> Tap to cast your line. Wow, fishing rocks in this game. I got an eel. This is very Animal Crossing-y. I can see why a lot of people really were into Pocket Camp, especially before New Horizons came out because it's like a whole new little Animal Crossing game kind of that just gets you to spend money every five minutes and begs you begs you to purchase leaf ticket packages. But other than that, very chill and like super relaxing. Would you help me pick out some new clothes that seem right for me? Picnic tee, blue check tee, MVP shirt. Let's do a picnic. Cute, that's way better. Cool. And now we are best friends. Level two friendship. What's the max level? Is it 10? Or does it just go on forever? Cause I'm gaining levels very quickly. <laughs> just little serotonin boosts here and there, you know to keep me interested. Oh, cool. Okay, so I leveled up to level two. I also got more leaf tickets, which is epic. Since I'm here, I'm gonna try to get more fish because that's one of my goals. However, something huge on my mind is, um, Crafting. I want to craft some furniture and decorate my campsite. Oh, that's what this net is for. You can catch lots of fish at once using a throw net. The fish you catch will be random in size. Use sea throw net? Yeah, that sounds cool. Also, who the heck is that? <laughs> who is that? I got so much stuff. I got a coelacanth, what? I can't even get that in New Horizons, it's too hard. You just met up with Ziggy, what would you like to do? Make friends. Yes, please. Friend request sent to Ziggy. I came back to home base to craft. I have to spend leaf tickets to craft? You're freaking joking. <gasps> you have to spend money to craft? No, okay, thank God. I was like, this is not gonna work. Then I was really gonna think Animal Crossing Pocket Camp players are insane. There is a way to craft with bells. I'm gonna make this very very cute. Oh my goodness. Just kidding. Wait, I'm not going to make this because I don't have money and I don't have materials. I need something easy. I can craft this pot. Okay, craft it. I don't know what it's trying to say to me. Oh, one minute. It probably takes a long time to craft a lot of the big ticket items, I would guess. And that's where you would want to spend leaf tickets to speed it on up. White lattice wall. Sure. <gasps> I... If I want to craft more than one thing at a time, I have to buy the space to craft it with leaf tickets. Oh, you're killing me. I need to know how much are you guys spending on leaf tickets? Please tell me. Oh my God. I'm just going to craft my little potted plant here and I'm going to hoard leaf tickets if I ever play this game again. Do not let your children play this game. I'm telling you, this is evil. All right. Last thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to place my little pot and I'm just going to place it right here by the front of my campsite with this pot. So cute. And I have a string light fence. Okay. Loves it. I feel like decorating is a little bit difficult, but I'm also just have big ass fingers. Save, cute. I'm gonna have to practice decorating in this game. It's actually not very cute. And I got a bunch of cool stuff for decorating and I will take it all. It makes me happy when I complete silly little tasks. Awesome, my campsite is looking cool. What is this? Is this my tent? I don't think I can go in there. This is my car. <gasps> I can go in here. <gasps> Wow, this is my car. No way. And I can use the map from here too. That's adorable, actually. All right, all right. Pocket Camp, you're winning me over with that one. And then when I level up, it looks like I can place stuff over here too. I'm done. This is enough. That was... That was a lot. My final thoughts here. I understand why people play this game 100%. It's not personally my cup of tea. It makes me feel the same exact dread that comes over me when I'm sitting at a slot machine. Like I just hate spending the money and I think it's very scary. But also that could potentially be a trauma response. I wanna know from Animal Crossing Pocket Camp players, what are some tips and tricks please inform me in the comments below. Some positives about the game, it's 
definitely an Animal Crossing game. It kind of plays like one. It doesn't go too far off from like even the main series, which is surprising, especially with my perception of mobile games. Like it's not terrible, you know, it has a lot of similarities to actual Animal Crossing. I suppose what I'm trying to say is it doesn't feel like a mobile game with an Animal Crossing skin and theme slapped onto it. Another positive thing is that it's not super difficult to control. I have a hard time because I hate using my phone, just like in general, my phone is small. I have big hands. <laughs> That's a me problem though. But to complete my sandwich here with a negative, I will say I think it tries really hard to get you to spend money in a way that I just, I don't like it. So while it plays like an Animal Crossing game, I feel like the charm kind of gets sucked out with how much they're pushing leaf tickets in your face. However, to me, that's not the end of the world. Maybe I'll pick it up again. I wanna know from Animal Crossing Pocket Camp players, level with me here, Give me some tips and tricks. Let me know what are some fun things about Animal Crossing Pocket Camp that I have yet to try out and give me some pointers, you know? I wanna hear from the experts. Don't forget to check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash list the last. I am also on other social medias, Instagram, Twitter, etc. I hope you're having a great day and you continue to do so and I will see you in the next one and I will probably not be playing Pocket Camp. <laughs> Sorry, it's just the truth. <laughs>